Topping your news here at 5.30, an on your side update on a Mesa woman who became the victim of a very sophisticated check cashing scam. She mailed a $10,000 check to a relative out of state. Someone stole it and cashed it, and now her bank says they're not covering it because of a technicality. Here's on your side's Gary Harper. Yeah, this viewer is out 10 grand, and she says it's because of two things. Number one, she says her bank misled her about any so-called investigation it claims it was doing. And number two, she says a play on words sealed her fate. They, they did nothing. Kate Dutler says she waited for months for Chase Bank to investigate a $10,000 check that she mailed out of state, a check that was stolen. But Kate says she just found out that Chase Bank didn't investigate at all. And Chase Bank is doing nothing. And they're telling me that it's because I missed the deadline. In a previous On Your Side report, Kate explained how she mailed this check to an elderly relative in Chicago, a check that her relative never received. When she logged online to her bank account to see what happened, she discovered disturbing news. Apparently, the check had been intercepted by a scammer, and as you can see, it was altered by removing her relative's name and writing in unprecedented eats instead in the pay-to-order line. Kate reported the fraud to Chase Bank, which gives you up to a year to report altered checks. But Chase says the check wasn't altered. They're putting the onus back on me now because they're saying that the check was counterfeit and that you only have 65 days to report a counterfeit check. Yet if the check is uh, altered, you get a year. You heard right. Chase told Kate the check was counterfeit, not altered. And the deadline for reporting a counterfeit check had already passed. At a glance, the checks look the same. But look closer. The pay-to-order line is different. So is the security info on the side. I mean, it, it, it's like, wow, you're going to you know, hold that against me? And it gets worse. The scammer cashed the forged check at TD Bank. And Chase reassured Kate for months that they were waiting for TD Bank to investigate. And for months, every month, for three months, I've been getting a letter stating that uh, they still haven't heard back from TD Bank. But Chase admits it never actually contacted TD Bank and now says those letters were automatically generated. So Kate is out $10,000 and the theft won't even be investigated, even though we now know who cashed it. It's a crime. It was fraud. And Chase has done nothing. Now, remember that check was forged into saying unprecedented eats, but on your side was unable to pin down exactly what that company is or if there's even a physical address for it. I'm Gary Harper on your side.